I really like the soundtrack. I like it a lot. Going on down there, Dixie. We thought you were dead. Abusing a prisoner like that. Oh, here we go. I, thought you I was in here looking, but I want that one. I thought you were dead. No. And that makes it okay? Well, I hope it was worth your time. Yeah, well, oh, shit. Ah, damn it. I ran out of time. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. He thought it was fake at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least just figure out who she is. Well, it's not your job, dude. It's not your job, it's not. Someone had to take care of her. Get to the bottom of what is me, my bottom. I just, I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me, and maybe that's why she was killed. It's not your fault, dude. No, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. It can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was clamoring to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? If we're going to work together on this, you need to actually talk to me. I mean, what do you expect me to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? I'm the sheriff, dude. I'm the sheriff, Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Wow. Cool. All right. That's fun. I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't worry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. PJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Well, even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... Well, who's TJ? You know. What? Myself? Myself. Right. I'm trying to change, dude. I'm trying to change who I am. Is that like chapter two? I'm guessing. Yep. No. <coughs> PJ. 
DJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Bufkin, do you have a second? What's my snow? No, not my snow. Let's go talk to that dude. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shit up. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. Oh, that's the little dude. That's who TJ is. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. Tell me, dude. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. Okay. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Okay. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. Not in trouble. Not in trouble. Tell me what happened. I was there, under the big block, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Okay. Then I saw, I, I saw the lady. <laughs> what lady? It's okay, son. <laughs> Sorry, I want to. Careful, big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but, but she didn't have her head on. I thought, I, I thought she was going to pull me down, too. Because she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark part. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankle. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Do you know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. And that's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. Okay, That's fine. Very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. Keep you're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater. I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. Did you see anyone? Did you see who it was? No. No? Okay. Did you hear, Did you hear anything, anything else? else? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. That's fine. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home. That's all. I promise. I want to go home. You're really okay. We can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. Let's get you home. Yeah, thanks. Come on, then. That 
that went about as well as I expected. You want to go look at the body now? Yes. Um, in a minute. In a minute. When you're ready. Okay. Let me just go look in the mirror a little bit. Showing Mr. Toad and his son. Cinderella selling shoes, Rapunzel, Rose, and of course there's you. And I can't help note that you did not rhyme. Do try to stick to the rules next time. Yeah, I'll do that. Is it back in his oh, apartment? Hmm. Where can I find Tweedle Dum? Uh, or that piece of scum? Sitting in his car. Alright. This is there. Anything here? What is that? Snow perfume. What if that's not snow? And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Is there anything else? Anything else? All right, let's go. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. We might start with Tweedle. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. 